This is a sponsored video. Just to let you know. Hello everyone and welcome back to Games Night. Today Hello. I am playing with Duncan. I've picked Golgari as my guild. Uh, death and regrowth? Undergrowth? Maybe. It's dark, it's dank. I'm using my graveyard. Gross. Uh, Duncan, I I've, was gonna pick with the one that Duncan wanted because I was like, oh. I've always been, is it? it magic fits me wizards. Perfectly. It's magic wizard dragons. Like Pretty wizard much, dragons. Yeah. And they, but they also have like technology. Mm. So they're like scientist wizard dragons. So well, <laughs> let's just get started. <laughs> they're the um, coolest thing. These are the dual decks. So these, these, these actually have cards in them that aren't in the current sort of standard format, but they're kind of going back through time through, because Magic's had a few of these guilds of um, Ravnica yeah. kind of. Um, sets over time, and so the, these are sort of the coolest cards. So I don't know what's in this deck actually. I have not not played with this deck before. I haven't looked through it really. All I know is the themes. And uh... would you like to cut my deck? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you trust Dive shuffled it well. I trust. I'll you. trust you then as well. Uh, so deal yourself seven cards, and let's begin. That's a shame because I put all of my good cards halfway down, expecting I know. you to yeah, like. I thought you were. Expecting you to, <laughs> to cut. So, of course, we need to uh, roll off to see who starts. We should have done this actually beforehand. I got a four. I got a 14, so I'm going to start. Neither of us are mulliganing. Um, because no. I've got a great starting hand. Have I'm going to play a forest and pass the turn. Okay, well, I am going to play a mountain. Fantastic. Is that your go? There's nothing else I can do, so yep. Okay. I will draw. And I will play a swamp. And a Kurozda guild mage. Oh. She is a 2-2 two, two elf shaman. She looks dead. She um, probably is. She has two abilities. One, I can pay three mana to get one target creature with plus one, plus one, and intimidate, so it can't be blocked. All oh, right. And she can also pay some mana and sacrifice uh, one of my creatures to create loads of tokens. So, she, so for example, if I'm like, if I know that a creature's gonna die or you're gonna kill it, yeah. I can instead use her to like sacrifice it and turn it into little gribblies. Okay. Loads of little one-one insects. Little groomy, groomy grobs. Yeah, that is my go. Okay, so I draw, I play an island, and I will tap both of them. Look at these nice islands and swamps I know, and stuff. they're pretty. They've got cool little extra graphics on them. I'm gonna play an is it signet. Okay. So that is... I can pay one, tap it, and I'll get a blue and a red. Ah, so it actually does give you an extra mana. Yes. So it is a little bit of ramp. Yeah. Okay. You'll get Okay, I'll untap my lands and draw, and I will play, I think I'm gonna play a forest, and I'll play a glow spore shaman. So she Ooh. is a 3-1. When she enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. There is a lot left troll. Uh, and a Golgari Signet, and a Golgari Rot Farm. You may put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. I'm gonna put this Rot Farm, Golgari Rot Farm, back into my library okay. on the top. Yeah, and then I'll draw it next turn, because I need that extra bit of land, I think. I will attack you for two. Okay, I'll take two. And then I'll pass my turn. Okay, so untap, draw a card, then I will tap this and pay a red okay. to get a blue and a red. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll tap a blue, so I've got two blue and a red, and I will play the Wee Dragonauts! Ah, oh, a classic card. They're fairy wizards, and it uh, looks like they can fly on some kind of electric thing, and they're called Dragonauts, which is the coolest name ever. They are. This they're is a very classic one, card. One, three flying. I love this one. When I play an instant or sorcery spell, they get plus two, plus zero until the end of turn. And then I'm going to play an Is It Boiler Work, which comes into play tapped, and it takes another card back from my there into my hand. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yeah, the same as the Rot Farm. Yeah. So it gives you it's a double, gives you two mana. It gives me but... a red and a blue, but it takes it takes a little while to ramp up. But yeah. it's okay if I've already used the land; it doesn't really waste it. That's cool. Yeah. It's very cool. Okay, I will untap my land and I'll draw my Golgari Rot Farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it's like yours, but I'm not going to play it yet. I'm yeah. going to first attack um, with both creatures, I think. I'm going to attack with the Glowspore Shaman, 3-1, one, 
and the Carols to Guild Mage 2-2. Two, two. What can that one do again? So I can spend some mana to give this one plus one plus one mm -hmm. and, and give it Intimidate, which means it can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or creatures of the same colour. Okay. So we don't share a colour because I'm green, black, and you're... If I wanted to give this Intimidate, you wouldn't be able to block it. Okay. But well, as it stands, you can. It's up to you. I don't have to. I will... Let it let it come through at me. Okay, so you take five damage. Yep. Bam, you're on 13. Ouchies. Okay, and then I will just play my rot farm and take a forest back into my hand. So okay. I'm not actually going to play any, any mana this turn. So you didn't want to spend two to do an extra damage? I should have done. I should have done. Yeah. I should have spent three, but the combat ended and I didn't do it. Oh, so. Wow. I missed, I missed my opportunity. Okay, so untap and draw, and then I'm going to play a mountain. So I've got five mana available to me right now. Yeah. Pretty good. So I'm going to get it all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm, going to, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to pay three to play a Gelectrode. A Gelec, Gelec, Gelectrode. A Gelectrode. Cool. It's a weird. It's a weird. <laughs> Uh, I can tap it to do one damage to any target. Okay. And if I play a sorcery or an instant spell, it will untap. And then I will pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're not going to attack? I don't okay. I think, think it's really worth it to do one damage and I lose a blocker. You got it. Okay. I'll untap everything and draw a card. Uh, I will play a forest, which gives me five mana because this is a double. I think I'm. I think I'm actually just going to also. I'm one turn ahead of you, see. So I have got mm -hmm. the one because I started. I will just attack with both creatures again, and okay. the same as last time. So I've got three one coming in, two two coming in. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, what I'm going to do, Lewis, is I'm going to block this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't got any spells or anything. I might have. <laughs> okay. I get an opportunity to play spells. Yeah. I'm not going to. Okay, I am going to tap this and tap that. Okay. And play burn. Okay. Which does two damage to this. Okay. And it also gives me plus two on this, plus two attack. It does. Yeah. So that then becomes a three three. Three three. And, and this dies. gets killed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn. Well, I'm, I think that is going to die. Because uh, I'm just going to let that happen. And then these two will fight each other. Mm -hmm. And yours will hit mine for three, I'll hit you for two. Yeah. I will play a spell. Okay. I will play Dark Blast. Dark Blast. So the creature gets minus one, minus one till end of turn. Okay. Which is so the best they, I can do. They both die. So that puts yours down to a two two. Yeah. But then the two twos trade with each other. Yeah. Dark Blast has Dredge on it. Now, Dredge is an option. And so it says if you would draw a card. Instead, you can put exactly three cards into my library, of library, into the graveyard instead, and get this out instead. Oh, okay. So the idea is... Oh, instantly? It's, yeah, so if I wanted wow. to... Well, if I wanted to draw this out, yeah. of my li out of my graveyard, I could instead trade it for my card uh, that I was normally drawing. Right, okay. Um, so if I felt like I needed to dredge that out, I could. And also, it's a way for me to put cards into my graveyard, if, yeah. I, if I see fit. That's so this fair. is dead as well, yeah. crikey. So that was a bit of a disaster for me, actually. A bit, a a bit of a recovery one. on my part. Okay, I'm going to play an island, and then I need five mana, which is what I've got. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use this one instead, though. So that's two, three, four, five. And I'm going to play Hypersonic Dragon. Okay. It's flying Haste, four, four. You got it. I am going to attack you with it. Good idea. I will take four damage. Yeah. Um, is that the first damage I've taken? Yes, it is. Well, I am on 16 life. Okay, and then I pass the turn. That's the first time you've hit me. Mm. Spooky. Okay, I'm going to untap, and I am going to be very scared of your dragon and draw a card. I have five mana, so I will play uh, a Grave Shell Scarab for five. Ooh. Two green, a black, and two generic. Nice. Uh, he is an insect 4-4. Four, four. Doesn't fly, so can't actually deal with your flying guy. Okay. But maybe you can contest the board a bit. Um, if he dies, I can dredge him back out of my graveyard. I can okay. also sacrifice him to draw cards if I so choose. Cool. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Okay, untap and draw. 
Cool. And I'm going to play an island. Oh, good. And then I'm going to play Wee Dragonauts again. Another uh, set of Dragonauts, okay. Another set of Dragonauts. They're Wee. Hi. <laughs> 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 and then I'm going to attack you for another four. Okay, I can't block it because I have everything flying, so I'll take it down to 12. Okay, I will untap and draw a card. Um, which doesn't help me kill a big flyer dragon! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I think, attack anyway. I feel like a 4-4 four, four putting pressure on you is going to make you more scared. Okay. Because I can't block, so I'm attacking with the, the Grey Shell Scarab. What do you got? I'm gonna play three mana. Okay. To charm. So it's four damage to a target and two damage to me. Damn! Well, in response, I will pay one, sacrifice it, <laughs> and draw a card. <laughs> which is a forest that I, I can two. then play. I can play out a creature, which had I known you were gonna obliterate my thing, maybe I would have played this sooner. Savra, Queen of the Golgari. So. Whenever I sacrifice my own creatures, I can pay two life and make you sacrifice one. Oh, wow. Which actually isn't super great because you've got that flipping Gelectrode. Yeah. Which I feel like you can just, you can sort of start, yeah. Can start pinging you. You can get rid of it as well for cheap. I should have done one last time. But it also says whenever I sacrifice a creature, I may gain two life. So oh. that was a black and green creature. Yeah. So I would have both gained two life and had the opportunity to kill one of your creatures. That if I'd played this before, great combination. I'd sent him into attack. But I didn't <laughs> think you'd kill it, you see. Yeah. It changed my plans. Anyway, that is my go. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'm going to ping you for one. Oh, the Gelectrode is <laughs> electrocuting me. I'm an 11. Okay. Yep. And draw a card. I'm on two cards now. But I think what I'm going to do is play Invoke the Fire Mind. Okay, which is good. An X cost. Good. Sorcery. So I'm going to pay all my mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, X is four. Draw. I can either draw four cards or do four damage to any target. I'm going to draw four cards. I'm going to open an island to play. Oh no! And draw. Cards! Look at all these new cards Deal I've got. Damage. Oh, it's so exciting. Well, I'm going to attack you uh, with these two. This one is a 3-3 three, three now, because I pl play a sorcery. And it flies. And it flies, and that flies two, which is a 4-4. Four, four. So it's seven <sighs> damage overall. Oh, I'm on four life, Duncan. This is a disaster. Okay. Oh man, I could have, I could have had lethal, actually, if I'd used that on you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you use it on her? No, uh, I used the digital cards. Oh, what well, you can pick? I could pick you, yeah. Oh, any any target. <laughs> you would have been able to kill me. That would have been a bit much, though. I am, I'm being nice. I'm <laughs> also an idiot. <laughs> well, thank you very much, <laughs> um, for not killing me instantly. Okay, on my turn, I will untap uh, everything. Okay, so... Right, I've got, I've got all sorts of removal, Duncan, to right. kill your stuff, but it's not quite right. All right, I'll have to. I think I'll have to just probably pass the turn straight away here. Really? Yeah. I don't have many options. So oh, I think I'm still dead. Plan. Okay, let's untap. That's an interesting thing to do. For <laughs> uh, a card. So I've got a very interesting card here, which I will show you <laughs> in a second. But I think I'm going to attack you first. Let's try and attack you. So let's go with, okay, I'll attack you with the Wee Dragonauts and the Hypersonic Dragon. Okay. I can do two instant spells, okay? One is Abrupt Decay. Right. Uh, destroy target non land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. So I can kill your Wee... Kill my Wee Dragons. Dragons. Oh, dear, good thing I didn't bother buffing them. And right, then I done. can also play a Golgari charm so that all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Oh, so that puts you on three when the dragon goes through. Yeah. So, okay, so you've, this does kill your Gelectrode. You've, you've, you've doing damage to Gelectrode. Minus one, minus to all creatures, Golgari charm. All creatures. So the supersonic dragon will only hit me for, the hypersonic dragon will only hit me for three and I'll be on one life. So if I ping you, you die. I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to ping you. <laughs> You're going <laughs> to... I'm going to let that go. I might have a card that saves me. Yeah? I don't. Okay, I'm, I'm going to save you on one life because I've got a fun thing to do. 
Alright, well, but it's always dangerous in magic. Yeah, I know, I'm BMing. <laughs> but I really wanted to get this dude out because he is my favourite dude in the whole of this game. Okay, what's well, your second main phase now? Second main phase. I'm gonna play Stitch in Time. Flip a coin, if you win, take an extra turn. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well, in the packs, actually, they have these little badges. They're badges, though, they're not coins. But you can still flip it. Okay, I pick the. Heads or. Pin size. <laughs> it's gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. It's pin! <laughs> you picked it! I get another go. You get another go. Well, I'm okay. definitely dead. So I am totally my dragon. Shit. And I'm gonna play my favourite dude. Niv Mizzet. Wow, this is just, the this is just ridiculous now. He's a legendary creature, dragon wizard. <laughs> He's got this like crazy code at the bottom. Which I think spells something, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's code for like, is it, or something. Anyway, he um, he's flying, whenever I draw a card, he does one damage to any target. Yeah. And I can tap him to draw a card. Yeah, um, he's very strong. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I've got now the two mana available, which I'll use to play. <laughs> More uh, stuff. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Is it charm? So draw two cards. But I can ping you twice by doing that. To kill me. Yeah. Niv Mizzet just <laughs> yeah. casually spits on me <laughs> and I die. So I had a few cards that I could have done. Yeah. Um, obviously I had to smash these out to try and stop the death happening, but I've had Drown in Field for a while, which puts a num which um, puts some cards into your light into your graveyard, and then you take that then it's minus one, minus ones for each land in my graveyard. Now mm. I didn't really get that going. Um, but I did have this thing which was six mana, which is an enchantment that puts the top ten cards of my library into my graveyard. Whoa. So I was hoping to get that, and then I'd have four lands in there to kill your dragon. Oh, but it, right. I just didn't draw the land I needed. Yeah. Also, I had Plague Crafter, which lets me, when it enters the battlefield, it lets me sacrifice a creature. Now, if I'd sacrificed the queen, because she's a green and black and she counts for herself, I could have made you sacrifice one for free. Mm -hmm. But you had the Gelectrode hanging around, which we yeah, always going to sacrifice. Always gonna sacrifice that. Which actually would have been relevant because you could have been pinged me to death yeah. with it. Um, but I still couldn't block the flying stuff, especially those second Dragonauts. And I didn't have quite enough mana to play Crafter, sacrifice her, make you discard one, and then kill the other two and survive. And even if I had, I think you still had me with Niv Mizzet. He's great. But, isn't he? um, Damn, that was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. I was a little bit, I played a bit slow in the middle. I was, I was sort of hoping you, you would block. You had a good start, but then a bad middle. Because yeah, I wasted a turn really, and uh, didn't spend any mana. I played, I played, didn't play very well. Anyway, Duncan, well done. Good game. The wizard, the dragon wizard, uh, Liv Mizzet, is in fact victorious I over. Uh, who was I? It's Oni. I didn't draw her, actually. He's, the, he's, the, he's my commander as well, I think. Yeah, well, you're, uh, it's not commander, is it? But it's um, your kind of iconic... In the commander deck, I mean, I've got... Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our magic videos. I'm sure there'll be some more stuff all over the place. I'm a bit salty about my loss, actually. Oh. But... Sorry. Goodbye. Bye.